Good morning, it is Lissy. It is Sunday, March 29th, and it's finally here. I'm doing the handbag video part two. So I have a bunch of um I have a bunch of different brands to show you. So I'll link to my the first one that I did, which was my Chanel handbag collection. Um and this is just kind of a hodgepodge of different bags that I have. Um, so where shall I begin? I guess I'll start with whatever is right here. So this first bag is the Reed Crake Off. Oh, it's a little indented. I've got to be careful. I need to stuff that, I guess. Um, it's the Reed Crake Off. Sorry, that needs to be rejiggered. Okay, this is the Reed Crake Off Boxer Bag, I think it's called. And I like the um, like I like the color of this bag. You know, it's kind of this stone color with um, I'm never sure if these are navy or black, and then kind of a Kelly green. And this is a really like good practical bag because it has this outside pocket that just snaps up. Like you could put an iPad in here, um, a Kindle. You know, you can put things easy to reach. And then it also has like a back like slide pocket you could slip your iPhone in. And then the inside has like, you know, it's nice and roomy and it has two zipper pockets. And actually, this one, see that little, see this here? That's Reed Krakoff's little initials because he made a personal appearance last year. You know, I say it over and over again, I'm involved in all things Breast Cancer Research Foundation locally in Boston, and the kickoff last year was at Saks, and Reed Krakoff's mother, Sandy Krakoff, is, um, I think she's like maybe a two-time breast cancer survivor, so he's also a supporter of the BCRF, and so he made an appearance there, and, you know, he was signing your bags if you bought one, so my bag is signed by, or initialed by Reed Krakoff. So that is the one and only Reed Krakoff bag I have. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but in the grand scheme of the cost of bags, this was a relatively inexpensive one. Like, I feel like most bags are, like, in the high-end designer category are, you know, usually at least $2,000 or close to it, and this was, like, way less than that. This was in the low, like, thousand range. Um, I know it's not chump change, but just, you know, comparatively speaking. So, okay, so that's the Reed Krakoff bag. Then, okay, I have one... Prada Safiano tote bag. I actually love this bag. And, you know, there's nothing new or exciting about these Prada bags. They keep doing them in all different colors. But I love, like, this Safiano leather. I don't know, like, how well you can see. But it's it's got a little texture there. You know, you see those grains? So basically, you can't really do anything bad to this bag. Um... I like the shape. I like the interior, like the pockets. So basically I, you have a middle zipper compartment, two big compartments, another little side zip, and then, you know, your standard, like slip your iPhone in there kind of thing. Um, I, I actually would like this bag in another color, even though it's not new, hip, exciting or whatever. It's just a good practical bag. Also, like this is a pretty good travel bag because you can slip an iPod, in, not an iPod, an iPad in here. Kindle, you know, a couple magazines. This is like a lovely bag. Um, you know, I haven't used it in a while, but now that, God willing, spring weather will be here and I can start wearing some more of the bright colors again, um, I'm sure this will come out. Oh, the other thing I should probably show you that's nice is like, you know, you can kind of expand it or contract it, you know, depending on what you want to do. I like the look of it, like contracted. So this is like one of the Prada Safiano bags. Then, okay, I have one Fendi bag. This is the Fendi Tujour bag, I think. I have really been eyeing the Fendi um, Peekaboo bag. I have not pulled the trigger on one. Um, this I actually got. I did not pay full price for this. This I actually bought on Overstock.com. This is another bag. What I really like about this bag, now, all these bags are kind of, have the commonality and that they're kind of these like, you know, top handle tote bags. This one has the shoulder strap, which is really, I mean, it's not, you can't do crossbody, but it's, you know, the, the shoulder strap makes a big difference. 
I love the color of this bag. I have several, you know, clothing items in this color, so I can kind of wear it and do a monochrome thing, or I can use it as a pop of color against neutrals, or like I've worn it, this was a long time ago, but I remember I wore a green coat and then this, and I really liked the way it looked. Um, so this is another, like similar to the Prada bag, like the same kind of inside, you know, middle zipper pocket, some slide pockets here in two compartments. This is a pretty big bag. Like this, I think I can actually fit my, my like MacBook in. Um, so I really like this bag. Okay, so that's Fendi. What's next? Okay, so next I will, maybe I'll show you my Celine bag. And then I have three Balenciaga bags, which are all pretty much the same other than the color and maybe the different, um, hard, you know, the, the hardware is a little different. Um, and that'll be it for today. So hold on one second. Okay, so this, this is my Celine bag. Um, I have been using, this is, this is a big bag. It is not as organized as the others. It's one big, pardon, there's like stuff in here, you know, like I just was using this the other day, so, you know, ignore kind of some of the papers and stuff. But it's one big compartment with a side zip and then, you know, a couple little pockets. But there's no real organization to this bag. This is just a big bag. Um, but I like it. And, um... I had initially bought a Celine bag in, it was kind of a stone blue-ish color, but this, these, th that one was only top handle. This one you can actually like fit over your shoulder. So what I ended up doing was I bought this one and then I sold the blue one um, on eBay or something. And that was like a few years ago. Um, but anyway... I love this bag. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I would buy this. Maybe I would buy it again. It, there are other newer Celine bags that aren't quite as big that I actually really like. If I was going to buy another one, I would probably buy. They have these like neat, like different, like little twist knot things, like kind of as decorations and stuff. But I like this like neutral stone color. And then you know, I always have an Hermes scarf hanging from this particular bag. Okay, so that's my Celine tote. And then for the Balenciaga bags. Okay, so you have seen this one over and over again. This is the Balenciaga, um, there's a name. Oh, like metallic edge. That's what they call This metal you'll see is a little bit different than the other ones. This is a basic black. I wear this, especially in the winter, like over and over and over again. And I'm not going to show you the inside because I was using this last week and there's a bunch of nonsense in here. But, um, oh, and then all these bags come with a little mirror, which is very convenient. But this bag has been like a, the workhorse of all bags. Its size is more manageable than the other bags I've shown you. Um, and it's just a cool, like, work bag, weekend bag, whatever. And then these Balenciaga bags also have a little, like, shoulder strap, which I actually don't use that often, but it's nice that it's there. Um, so, okay, so that's the one Balenciaga bag. Then, the first Balenciaga bag I ever bought was this, you know, I have not used this one in a while, and I really, I should pull this out, but, um, basically, this is the classic, I think we call this the city bag, um, but this has the rose gold, like, hardware, which I really like. It's just a neutral stone color. They're, they're all pretty much, you know, the same. Um, oh, well, actually, you know, and this, the, this is textured. They don't, they're not all textured. This is textured and all this hardware is rose gold. So this is the Balenciaga bag. And then my other Balenciaga bag, which also is actually, no, it's not rose gold. I don't think this is regular gold, but this is a nice, I don't know if you can see the cut. That's, I think it's a little better over here. The lighting, because like the windows are there, so there's lots of bright light over there. It kind of makes the colors look weird. But this is a really light, like pink. Um, and this one I'm psyched because, you know, it's almost the time of year to really whip this out. But this is pretty much the same. You know, these are like the same, but different colors. You can see on this one, 
the hardware, like the studs are a little smaller and yellow gold versus like the rose gold here. But, um, so these bags all have like the one outer zipper pocker, pocket, the mirror that attaches, and then, um, you know, like one zip pocket inside and then two little compartments here. Um, but these, this size, maybe this is the medium. There's definitely a bigger version of this, but I, and I, all of mine are the same size. I, this is a nice, like manageable size. You can fit a lot in it, but it's not a ton. And I have, as you can see, plenty of like really big bags that if I need something bigger, I can use. Um, so I think that's really it. Um, yeah. So let's see. What have I been up to? I went out last night with a friend in the North End. Went to a um, place called Quattro Restaurant, which is, I guess it's known for its Neapolitan pizza, which you can't call pizza Neapolitan unless um, you have the right oven. The pizza was really good. Not crisp enough, in my opinion. The crust was definitely not crisp enough, but it was very tasty. That was really fun. Um, I've been to the gym this morning, and it's almost 1130. I'm meeting a friend for brunch at noon, so I just squeezed this in because um, I know I've been promising. And it's really hard during the week for me to do these, so I wanted to get it in you know, on the weekend. And as you know, Sundays I don't always gussy up, so I don't necessarily want to be on camera, but um, because I'm actually going to brunch today, I am dressed. So let's see. I'm not going to, well, I don't know. There's nothing really exciting about what I'm wearing other than I'm wearing this really pretty like Alexis Batar necklace that I've had for a while. And I love this because like all the stones, like it doesn't matter what side, like if they flip over, like it's either beautiful stone or like rhinestones on the other side. So this necklace looks pretty kind of from all angles. And I love the like tangled chains with all the stones. And I'm actually doing something different today with the, um, the bracelets. This is, oh God, I can't remember the guy's name. Mark Bernstein. He's out of New York. I actually bought this, like, he had a, a table set up in Soho, like on the streets years and years ago. I mean, I'm sure he sells, I don't think that's his primary way he sells, but um, I hadn't pulled this out in a while and I was futzing through all my, I'm like, what can I do different today? So this is like leather, like a kind of bronzy leather and kind of gold hardware. And then this, you know, I have not worn this. You have probably never seen it. This is like, I wonder if I can quickly pull it off and show you. This is, this is a 1920s gold bracelet that was my grandmother's on my father's side. The bracelet was. And then I have had the bracelet for a really long time. And then a number of years ago, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put all my, you know, all like I'm going to start. It's a charm bracelet. I never had charms on it. And I love it because like, you know, Every charm has a little memory. Like, this is my Nantucket basket charm, because I go to Nantucket almost every summer. This is a Flor de Lis charm, which is the symbol of Florence, Italy. My family and I, we used to go to Italy for a good, at least 10 years. We used to go every year in December. This is a little heart charm that was, I think my aunt and uncle gave this to me, like on my first birthday. This is a little palm tree charm that my mother had given me. I'm, you know, I lived in Florida for, I went to high school and college in Florida. This is a little um, flower, but it's garnets, which is my birthstone. And I um, got this on a trip to St. Martin a number of years ago. This is a little um, oops, diamond and sapphire heart charm that my mother gave me. This isn't this cute. This is a little lipstick charm that I bought myself. This is a locket that my um, godmother gave me, I think on my first birthday. This is a wine corkscrew because I like to drink my wine. This is another heart. My mother, I'm pretty sure, gave that one to me. And then this is a basketball. See a star, and you can't really see, but it engraved, it says 1950 on it, I think. And um, this was my dad's. And then that's it. So other than that, this is, I mean, I guess I could get up quickly. I'm wearing a LeJant's top, my favorite J Brand jeans, an Hermes belt, and my Roger Vivier navy blue flats. I'll just quickly, I guess, show you. Nothing too exciting, but this is the get up for the day. 
So that is that. Um, okay. I hope you've had a really good weekend. And um, I hope to be chatting with you soon. Bye.